talk a little bit about electrolysis. It's the only permanent hair removal system. Laser hair removal is not permanent hair removal and is not a procedure for everyone. As a dermal therapist and laser specialist, I decided to examine the efficacy of laser over a three-year period. I discovered, as other professionals in this field have proven, that laser is a temporary measure, not permanent, for hair removal. So in choosing your uh, professional electrologist, it takes um, as much time as you would in selecting a medical doctor, a dentist, or professional of any personal service. A certificate from an accredited school should be visible. However, current membership in provincial, national, and international associations should be dated and on display. This is absolutely essential. The office and treatment area should be private. Cleanliness is obvious. You know, it's the obvious. However, we must inquire about how the clinic complies with infection control standards. A consultation by appointment is important, not over the telephone. So take advantage of this service to ask questions and observe. Uh, let's look at the history of electrolysis. Over a hundred years ago, an ophthalmologist discovered a highly effective way to remove ingrown eyelashes from patients. His name was Dr. Charles E. Michael, and he treated them with a needle attached to a wire that he had connected to a dry cell battery. So since that day in 1875, millions of men and women plagued by unwanted hair have benefited from his discovery of thermolysis. Through the evolution of this procedure, electrolysis, as it is internationally known, employs a needle and is the only method of permanent hair removal. Causes of unwanted hair, um, we uh, will look at now. Superfluous hair is a problem that may affect as many as 90% of men and women in, to some degree. There are a number of factors that can contribute to unwanted hair. They are heredity, medications, and normal hormone, hormonal changes at different stages of our life. Systemic problems that alter the body's hormone balance may trigger excess hair growth. Stress can be a contributing factor. Any situation that stimulates the adrenal glands can trigger hormonal reaction that can permanently cause fine soft body hair to grow in as coarse dark hair. So the services of professional electrologist are in greater demand as more men and women face stress in their daily lives. So how does electrolysis work? The electrologist inserts a very fine needle alongside the hair in the hair follicle. The follicle is a tube like structure out of which the hair grows. And the hair, uh, sorry, and the life supply system of the hair is attached to the papilla which houses the nerve and blood supply for the hair. A minute amount of electrical current is applied through this needle which cauterizes and destroys the papilla permanently ending further growth or regeneration of that particular hair. The skin is not harmed or punctured in any way by a professionally trained electrologist. For most people, the entire procedure causes very little discomfort. Effective numbing creams have their place for nerve centers such as the upper lip. And let's talk about infection control. All electrolysis practitioners must have infection control standards in place, some of which would include uh, sterile disposable needles, a sharps disposal, disposal unit, a steam autoclave or dry heat oven sterilizer, 
documented proof of the biological spore test, monitoring of their sterilizer, and uh, bleach, accelerated oxygen, disposable gloves, etc. So, um, what about treatment programs? The programs are designed to meet individual needs. Many factors determine the number and length of treatments required. Considered are the number of active hair follicles contained in the area of treatment, sensitivity, moisture content in the skin, um, the particular area uh, treated, and the previous methods of hair removal. Clients should ask their electrologist to provide them with a treatment schedule, uh, schedule on the very first visit. Most clients find that a weekly session of 15 to 60 minutes is the most effective. The closer you adhere to your treatment schedule, the more effective your treatment program will be. So after treatment care, electrolysis, um, is a safe and effective method of permanent hair removal with a few with fewer no side effects it's per, uh, perfectly normal for some slight reddening to occur along the treated areas this usually subsides within a few minutes to an hour occasionally light scabbing which is a natural part of the healing process may appear this should be left alone, don't pick at it, and will disappear in a few days. An electrologist will recommend the application of a good antibiotic cream, antiseptic lotion, or a cold compress to enhance the healing process. Uh, when you consider the cost of electrolysis, add up a lifetime of expense for razors, creams, waxing, and of your time spent pursuing temporary results. Today's fees are flexible enough to fit most budgets. In the case of electrolysis, you pay for the professional service you receive. Competent, quality treatment is worth the investment. So, I'd like to speak about laser hair removal. It comes up often and laser hair removal uses an intense beam of light as in radiation to remove unwanted hair. The heat of the laser is absorbed by pigment or melanin in the hair shaft causing damage to the hair shaft but not to the papilla which houses the nerve and the blood supply to that hair which is attached to the follicular wall. The goal is to stop the future growth of that hair. The higher the amount of melanin, or the darker the hair, the more the light is absorbed and the greater the chance is for effective hair removal. It's important to remind ourselves that hormone values are what drive hair growth patterns. Laser hair removal is not effective for those with white, gray, blonde, red, or shades of these hair colors because there's very little melanin to absorb the light. Because hair is always growing in different stages, multiple laser treatments are often needed. On average, it can take anywhere from four to eight treatments to achieve some result, which can cost several hundred dollars. Although laser hair removal is touted as a permanent option, it's not guaranteed, and you may need occasional touch-up treatments. The risks of laser hair removal are due to the potential damage that may occur when the skin surrounding the hair follicles absorb the laser energy. The most common symptoms following treatment can involve skin irritation such as redness, swelling, and mild pain. Sometimes the laser can lighten or darken the skin color, which is called hyperpigmentation or hyper, hypopigmentation. And in some cases, scarring or blistering. Because the laser is absorbed by melanin, 
The darker the skin, the higher the risk of damage. While there are many facilities that offer inexpensive laser treatments with online coupons, use caution when selecting where you go. In the wrong hands, laser treatments can be dangerous and the damage can outweigh the benefits of hair removal. Thank you for uh, watching. If you have any further questions, please contact the clinic at 613-546-5722. Thank you for watching.